What is going on? We are back with episode 13 of What's in the Mail. And again, we have an amazing pile of mail right in front of us today. We are opening mail from some of our favorite sellers. As you can see, we have some from Will Blackney at Yu-Gi-Oh! Community Auctions. We have some mail from Kybercore Auctions. So yeah, we are in for another great video today. Like always, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content, and of course, be sure to check out the description below where you'll see links to all of these amazing selling pages, whether they are websites or they are on Facebook. Check them out, go and grab yourself as a bargain, and of course, let them know that James from Duels Down Under was the one who sent you there. So we're going to start out with uh, this mat tube, this um, mailing tube here. As you probably know that it is a mat. I was lucky enough to win an amazing auction from Yu-Gi-Oh! Community Auctions. And I can't wait to crack into this. So we're going to put all of our other mail aside. And we are going to open the rest of this week's mail on the brand new mat. I've been waiting for this one for a little while. I totally forgot that I actually bought it. So been looking forward to it so let's unroll it and have a good look at it wow that is unbelievable i'll just move the camera a little bit so you guys can see the full mats look at that art wow that looks so good definitely not disappointed with that wheel thank you so much brother That is unreal, awesome. I can't wait to open the rest of this mail now. This time around, I have my trusty scissors with me. And of course, some card sleeves to sleeve up. Not that these cards won't be sleeved anyway. There's some really good sellers to buy from. All right, so this first one is coming all the way from New South Wales. Uh, Anthony Zhang, that is some really neat handwriting, my dude. That is really, really cool. All right, there's our favorite Wombat stamp as well. I went looking for those during the week and they didn't have any. They must have a new run of stamps coming through. Really gonna miss those ones. Once again, amazingly cared for in the packaging. Taped up top loaders to really take care of the cards in a sleeve as well. Let's have a look. Oh, a Chimera Rathlesia. You know I'm really big on this card. It is the only printing of it, and if the Predator Plant cards get that one or two cards that they need to become an amazing deck, boy, oh boy, look out for them. All right, as promised in the last episode, I said I was going to open up some foreign mail. This first one is coming from, I believe, um, Germany, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it's Germany. So we are going to crack in, just making sure that card's not too close to the edge of the envelope. I am a little bit worried that it's not in a top loader, but some top loaders are thinner than others. So, yeah, I can see inside it's not in a top loader. It is just wrapped in some thin cardboard. Coming all the way from Europe, probably not the safest um, shipping option, but it looks to have got here in one piece. So, I can thank my lucky stars for that. Let us have a look at this. Tape is the bane of my existence. There we go. And we have oh, an ultimate rare German copy of Heroic Champion uh, Gandiva. I really think this card might come in utility for the uh, Infernoble Knights. Not too sure, but thought I would pick up a foreign copy or two just in case that happened to be what was going to happen. Alright, next one from Kyber Core. I actually don't know whether this is from Robbie or Adam. Um, so yeah, one of the two boys, maybe it's from one of the privates. Um, one of the other guys, might be Steve, and I think he's an admin over there as well. But I'm not too sure, so let's get in and have a look. We are chocked up with business cards as always. I'll make sure I put some of those in my binder so I can give those out. 
Ah, oh, this is from Adam, because I just saw what it was. We have... Head over to the page on Facebook, Kybercore EVO Auctions Australia. Check it out. Good deals, guys. Good deals. We have a couple of copies of Har Generator Boss Storms. I have my generator deck ready to build, guys. It is ready to build. So I have everything I need for it now. And we have, I believe, I'm hoping this is a set or it's one locked up. There might be another one in the other sleeve. We have a couple of copies of Hard and we have three copies of the Ravenous Rocker Dragon. I am a real big fan of this card as well. Some generic level 9 synchros. It only needs one tuner and one non-tuner monster. So yeah, that is pretty good. I really like that card. I am picking up as many copies as I can if I can get them at the right price. That is unreal. Thank you so much, Adam. I do believe that was a purchase from you. All right, our next one. Indy Watts from up in Bundaberg, my home state. Probably about a four hour drive north from where I live in Brisbane. These guys run a team called Team Card Titan. They also have a Facebook page, so go and check them out. I will try and leave that just comment, uh, that, that link in the description down below. Let's see what is in here. I believe this was an auction win. We have a well taped up, a well packaged card again. Thank you so much, Indy, for making that happen. We will get the scissors to cut through. There we go. And let's see what we have. Oh, we have another Plunder Patrol ship, Lice. I just love the artwork of all of those pirate cards, the Plunder Patrol cards. Definitely some of my favorite artwork. And the fact that they are a TCG exclusive archetype at the moment really makes it a, makes it a little bit special. All right, we'll move that to the side. We are again stockpiling a whole heap of rubbish. Let's get into this one here. This was an eBay win coming from Glen Waverley down in Victoria. I can't actually remember what this was. I think I keep track of my auction wins on Facebook better than I do my auction wins on eBay. Um, they just seem to, I pay for them and then I wait for them to turn up in the mail. We will just snip through that tape. They do appear to be in some sort of plastic sleeve, so I should be okay. Carefully, surgically cutting through cardboard, making sure not cut into any of our sweet, sweet video bounty. All right, yeah, it's nicely packaged. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is an Ignite Core. I'm really big on these guys. I love the Fire Warriors, and some of these might actually be used in the the new Inferno One Eye deck as well. I know that Crusader had a bit of a price bump uh, in the past, but what I'm going to try and experiment with is I'm going to try and experiment with the Ignites mixed with the um, mixed with the Infernobles to try and make a bit of a pendulum deck just to see what I can do with that. It looks like fun, so it might be a fun deck to, to play with, but it's got three of the Super Rare Crusaders, all first edition, and also three of the Ultra Rare Templars. And I remember when the Rom Gomniad uh, number 86 card was just released into the TCG. That Templar was about $25 to $35 a piece. So thank you so much for that seller from eBay. Now, we are getting close to that 10-minute mark, guys. So I am going to try and speed this along. I think we have about three pieces of mail left. This one is from Ingleburn, New South Wales. Potentially another... I want to say another eBay purchase and we'll see what it is. It looks like we only have, looks like there's a couple of cards here. I will need to cut that. It does have some tags. Oh right, here we go, let's see what it is. Oh, the top load is just cracked. Well, I won't be reusing it, so let's just get our cards out. Oh right, so we have two copies of Super Bullet Train, Super, Super Express Bullet Train. Pretty rad card, I am a fan of this one. 
I didn't open a lot of sixes of the rows, so just getting my hands on these level 10 um, cards is pretty good. All right, let's crack into the next one. We have another foreign opening to come now. This one is from Austria. This one is in no, no top loader again. These European sellers need to really be careful. All right, I do like the fact that it's attached to a nice little letter. I do not read German, but I am hoping it says something like Thank you for shopping at my eBay store. Um, yeah, cool. But as you can see, we have a set of salvages and I really hope that that tape is not connected to the card because that could get me in a little bit of trouble later on. Let's just try and lift it up. Oh, it is on the card a little bit. I'm just gonna fold that back. I'll put that down and I'll deal with that when I'm off camera. Always the risk you run when you don't send your cards in top loaders, guys. How many times do we have to say it? Send your cards in top loaders. This one is Mystery Mail. We don't know who this is from, but let's have a look at what is in this top loader. Again, well sealed. Definitely an Australian seller because it is in a top loader this time around. Let's open up and have a look. Oh, we have a Titanic Cider. Times one, two, three. All right. What are the cheapest secret rares out of Eternity Code? You never know when this card might start seeing a little bit of play, so it's just good to have your play set. We have two to go, guys, two to go. Let's see, this is from the Bow Tran. I wonder if this is another dank or bust, or is this an auction win? I think this could be an auction win. It is a card that I have been hunting down for a while. We will cut through the tape on this top loader. Ultra Polymerization, Arch Nemesis Protos, Arch Nemesis Protos, and an Arch Nemesis Echatos times two as well. These Arch Nemesis cards are very underrated out of Eternity Code, guys. If you don't have them, you should. I believe they are getting some more support in the future. Make sure you've got them before those prices go through the roof. You don't want to be left napping. Our final package for today is coming from Alone Agona Meadows from Victoria. We have a couple of well packaged things here. I like these plastic flips, they are really, really good. Our first card is a Machina Metal Cruncher. Alright. And. Metal Cruncher or if it's something else. Oh, it's in a Chardos. Excellent. Okay. So out of today's mail opening, I managed to grab a set of Echartos. That is so good. I'm so happy with that. That'll go with the ones that we opened up from Australian Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, last week in the opening. So unbelievable. All right, guys, that is it for the episode. Remember, check out the links in the description for some of these amazing Facebook and eBay sellers. If you haven't checked out their pages yet, you really, really should be. Don't fall for the bullshit on the other websites. Remember, don't overpay for pre-release cards. Head over to Nikijo Cards where you'll be hooked up with a good deal as well. And always, guys, don't forget to like, leave a comment down below with what you've been opening in the mail this week. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.